This evening I'm here to capture an image of Diglas Bridge we should be able to see behind me. This is a lovely little foot suspension bridge just outside Worcester. It's got some amazing leading lines on it so it should make for an absolutely cracking image. I'm actually here to capture the bridge after dark when it's all lit up but it should look nice as sun sets as well and it lights up the clouds behind it. Let's do it. I've been enjoying walking around this bridge and I've especially been enjoying seeing all the different padlocks that have been locked to the side where couples have come along and locked a padlock and thrown a key in the seven. Obviously I don't condone littering but it does mirror what they do in Venice. Anyway, now that the sun has started to set, it's now time for me to get the gear out, compose and get this shot. Well, I lost the light really quickly then as I was setting up the camera and I've had to bring the camera forward to get a better composition on the bridge. But as you can see behind me here, the lights are starting to come on and these LEDs are starting to warm up and I think that is going to make a really lovely light on the bridge. So I'm now getting ready to uh, capture this shot. Right, whilst I'm waiting for the lights on the bridge just to warm up a little bit more, just to give me that little bit more light on the on the bridge, I just thought I'd go through the camera settings. So I'm using my 20mm AIS lens, I've got that at f8, I'm focused to nearly infinity, I'm at ISA 100, my white balance is set to daylight, and my shutter speed I am just feathering all the time, and then going through to find the right setting. And then what I'm doing is I'm bracketing the shot. So I'm starting with a dark shot and I'm going to a lighter shot, and I've got about five steps of bracketing. I'm not actually using the camera to bracket, I'm actually bracketing it by eye. I'm actually using the meter in the camera and I'm just creating that bracket manually. I think that gives me the best result because I can just control it a little bit better. Anyway, so those are the camera settings and I think that's going to give me a nice shot. Right, I've been shooting this bridge for a while now and I think I got what I need in the can. The exposure I liked in the end was over a minute long because that gave some nice movement in the clouds and the lights on the bridge has just lit it up really nicely and it's looked amazing. But now it's time for me to pack down and get off this bridge. Hey, if you enjoyed that video, please consider subscribing. I aim to release a video each week and I would love for you to join me. Also, please, please don't be afraid to get involved with the comments below and I'll answer as many as questions as I can. Till next time, catch you later.